He's spinning a web on me. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a web. What does that mean? Are you claiming me as yours? Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie, and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about tarantulas and I'm gonna be giving you guys five reasons why they make really good pets. A lot of people are afraid of tarantulas and people hate them. And whenever someone has a tarantula as a pet, usually your first reaction is, why would you want to have a tarantula as a pet? They're disgusting, they're scary, they're gross. So I'm gonna be giving you five reasons why they make awesome pets and five reasons why you should like them. So uh, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my videos. I have plenty of other animals to show for on my channel if you're new here and you don't know that already. But yeah, without further ado, here are five reasons why tarantulas make awesome pets. The number one reason, in my opinion, why tarantulas make really good pets is they are pretty simple to care for. They are very easy to care for, they just don't require a lot. Everything I'm about to say can vary from tarantula to tarantula, so if there's a specific tarantula you wanna get, you obviously need to look for the specific care requirements of that individual tarantula. But everything I'm about to say is pretty much general information about most common tarantulas that people keep as pets. One thing is tarantulas generally only need about a five gallon tank. And a lot of people actually keep tarantulas in plastic tubs. This is a Arizona blonde tarantula and Arizona blondes are terrestrial, meaning that they live on the ground and they need a horizontal enclosure. There's also arboreal tarantulas and those require a vertical enclosure because they live up high. But for most terrestrial tarantulas, like my Arizona blonde here, people actually keep them in plastic tubs like this. This is just a Sterlite tub that I got from Target. It was probably like $2 and I drilled some holes on the side for ventilation. Within here, there's coconut husk, there's a hide, and there's a shallow water dish, and that's literally all this tarantula needs. So unlike most reptiles, where you need to buy an enclosure and a bunch of decorations and supplies that can add up to be hundreds of dollars, you can buy a $2 tub from Target, get a hide, get a water dish, get some substrate, and you're pretty much good to go. And another great thing about tarantulas is they don't require an external heat source. They don't require a heat pad or a heat lamp. They live in room temperature, usually temperatures between about 70 and 85 degrees. If your room does drop below like 65 degrees, then it's recommended to get a space heater for them. But in general, they live in pretty much room temperature. Also, as far as feeding goes, they only eat about a couple times a week usually, and you don't have to clean their enclosure very often. You just need to change the water out often so they have fresh water. But as far as deep cleaning, people usually say you only have to do it every like four or six months because they don't make a big mess at all. They don't eat a lot, they don't really do much. So they're very easy to care for. One of the easiest pets by far you could get is a tarantula. Again, depending on the species, some have more specific requirements, but I'm talking about your basic common tarantulas that people get as like beginner tarantulas. They make great pets, very minimum care. Number two reason why tarantulas make awesome pets is they are friendly. And this, again, depends on the type of tarantula and also the individual tarantula. If you want a tarantula you can handle, there are a lot of species of tarantulas, you can look them up, that tolerate handling very well. One of them being the Arizona Blonde, like I have right here. They're very chill. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Like, they don't mind being handled. You just kind of gently pick them up and they are okay. And if they are feeling defensive, they aren't gonna bite you right away. Typically they lift up their two front legs up in the air and kind of show their fangs. And they do that to show you like, hey, I don't wanna be handled right now. Just letting you know. And then you don't handle them and you don't get bit. Also, New World tarantulas tend to use a different defense mechanism where they flick their little hairs on their abdomen at you and it goes into your skin and it just feels like kind of like a splinter. It doesn't really, it's not super painful. It might itch a little bit, but it's not a big deal. Even a tarantula bite doesn't do much damage. It might break skin, 
Their venom isn't enough to cause any damage, usually, unless you're allergic. People usually compare it to a bee sting. Again, depending on the type of tarantula, there are tarantulas that have venom that affects people more, but there aren't really any tarantulas that could actually kill you. And to be oh so very honest with you, I would rather get bit by this tarantula or have it flick its hairs at me or have it do both at the same time than get bit by Mango, my bird, or get bit by like one of my snakes because it's so much less painful and their bites just don't do a lot of damage. Like people are afraid of them and afraid of getting bit, but people willingly handle large reptiles and large birds and their bites are a lot worse than a tarantula bite. So they are very friendly, docile, depending on the species. Even if you do get bit or even if they do flick their hairs at you, it's not going to be as painful as a bird bite, a dog bite, anything like that. People willingly go up to strangers' dogs and try to pet them without knowing if the dog's going to massacre you, but people are afraid of a small tarantula. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you need to make that comparison and be like, really, should I be that afraid of a tarantula? Probably not. Number three, tarantulas are so pretty. They are so pretty. Um, some tarantulas are prettier than others. This one, in my opinion, is pretty. It's a nice brown color and it has some really cool shades to it. I think it's pretty, but there are a ton of other tarantulas that are really bright, vibrant colors and they're beautiful. The only issue with this is the very vibrant and beautiful tarantulas, a lot of the time, tend to be the kinds you don't want to handle because they're very skittish, very fast, they have more potent venom, and um, a lot of the times, arboreal tarantulas are the ones that are vibrantly colored, the ones that live in a vertical enclosure. You might say, why is that a good reason to keep it as a pet if you can't hold it, if it, you're not supposed to hold it and it's more uh, defensive towards you? If you want to get a really pretty tarantula that is more aggressive, then that's fine. They still make good pets, it's just that you're, you shouldn't handle them. They're for looking at. Kind of like fish. You can't handle fish, they're for looking at. So you could set up a really cool enclosure for your beautiful, colorful tarantula and have it as like a showpiece to look at and to observe and appreciate it from afar and not actually handle it. So it's the same type of thing as reasons why people get like fish or other pets that aren't supposed to be handled. My fourth reason why tarantulas make really awesome pets is because they're unique, they're fun, they're not super common. They're becoming more common, but you know, most people have a dog or they have like a fish tank or cats or maybe even a hamster, but not a whole lot of people that aren't in like the reptile hobby have tarantulas. So when you have people over, it's a good conversation starter. Like, hey, I have a tarantula, want to check it out? And you can like talk to people about it. And it's cool getting other people, at least for me, it's cool to get other people more interested in animals and open their mind up to things like owning things like tarantulas and snakes and stuff like that. So it's really cool to just like have something that's not as common, but they're still very easy to care for. And if you get one of the friendlier species of tarantulas, you can still handle them and interact with them. And even if you get one of the more defensive tarantulas that are beautiful, you can still appreciate them and show them off. Yeah, they're just really cool, unique pets that a lot of people will enjoy to look at. And my fifth reason why tarantulas make awesome pets is they are a short commitment but they're also a long commitment at the same time. It just kind of depends if you want it to be short or long. And that sounds weird, I should probably elaborate. Male tarantulas, again, this probably depends on the species, but I'm just speaking in general. Male tarantulas tend to live a lot shorter lifespans than female tarantulas. So male tarantulas tend to live around five years, whereas female tarantulas tend to live around 30 years. So if you want to get a tarantula and be like, all right, I want a tarantula, but I don't want it to be a long commitment. Like I probably don't want this for 30 years. 
you can get a male tarantula and it'll only be alive for a few more years and it's a shorter commitment. However, on the other hand, if you're gonna get emotionally attached to your tarantula and you're like, I don't want this thing to die ever, you can get one that's gonna live 30 years. So you could get a female. And usually it's very hard to sex a tarantula unless it's pretty full grown. And usually the easiest way to sex them is by looking at their molt. If you go to a breeder or someone who is a tarantula expert, then they can tell you if the tarantula is a male or a female, and you can decide if you wanna purchase a male or a female tarantula. So yeah, that is five reasons why tarantulas make awesome pets. Minimal care, they're super easy to take care of. They're friendly if you get a friendly species, and it'll help you and your friends get over the fear of tarantulas. I used to hate tarantulas, and I like did not understand the appeal really at all, but then, the more I looked into it, I was like, wow, they're kind of cool. Like, I like them. And then I got one, and then I got like two more, and then now I have seven. Number three, they're pretty. Some prettier than others, like I mentioned. Some more friendly than others, like I said before. But depending on if you want one to look at or one to handle, you'll find a good tarantula for whatever fits your needs. Number four, they're unique, fun to show off to your friends. It's just a really fun thing to have in your home. For me, obviously, I have like 30 animals, so is my tarantula the most exciting out of all of them? Probably not. But for a common household, a tarantula can be a really fun creature to add to your home. And then number five, like I said, they are a very short commitment or a long commitment, depending if you get a male or a female. If you guys have any other reasons why tarantulas make awesome pets, then make sure to let me know down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week. Also, don't forget to check out my social medias. The links to those will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And say goodbye to Sedona, my Arizona blonde tarantula. Bye, Sedona. Goodbye. All right, don't go, don't go on my back where I can't see you. How am I gonna get her off my back? Climb onto my hand. Please, please climb onto hand. Please. Thank you. No, onto my hand, damn it. Is she on my hand? Yes, yes. I got her. There. I always tell people tarantulas are basically just leg puppies, or they're just fuzzy, eight-legged dogs, you know? Honestly, what's the difference? You're just a leg puppy, Sedona. I don't know why anyone would be afraid of you. You're a good dog.